Ask Reddit. What is the poorest financial decision you have ever seen somebody make? My dad saved like hell his entire life. Staunch minimalist. Had about a million saved by his 60s when my parents divorced. My mom, a shopaholic, fought him in court and received 800k from him, which he just let her have because all he wanted to do was live in a tiny house he already owned outright and spend the remainder of his years traveling in the cheapest countries. He's still self-sufficient to this day at age 75 and has been to around 45 countries in the last 10 or so years. My mom spent the 800k in less than 5 years. She bought nothing but garbage. Collectible angels. A bedroom suite, a house she couldn't afford. Just shopped and shopped. She yelled at me this week for refusing to pay her electric bill which is about to be disconnected. I know a couple who spent $125,000 on their wedding. Their marriage lasted less than 4 years. They ended up arguing over who had to pay which part of the debt. I didn't want the ducking flowers in the first place during their divorce settlement negotiations. They were each still paying for the first wedding when they married their second spouses. I had a friend cash out all of his stocks and savings so he could spend 100k on his own online marketing business. He had no prior experience and no clients lined up. He had about 4 clients over the course of 2 years, one of whom never paid him. I spent the night at my friend's house when I was around 14 ish, and at their house, they had I think 4 or 5 kids, I was friends with the oldest, we didn't eat any dinner at any point and we are all getting hungry. The kids asked to have some money, to walk to the grocery store, to grab hot dogs and stuff, to make a quick cheap dinner. Mom said I only have $15 and that's my cigarette money. We all ended up not eating anything. Added, I just want everyone to know that this was almost 13 years ago and all the children are just fine, grown up, moved out and a few have kids of their own. Hopefully they learn to treat their children differently, but I don't exactly know. Had an unemployed friend inherit a boatload of money when her dad died. Instead of investing it and getting a job, she took it easy for 10 years. She was homeless living in a van when the money ran out. Man, if the money was enough for 10 years she wouldn't even have to get a very hard job and let the money get invested so she could siphon off a portion of the dividends. My friend bought his ex-girlfriend a 30k Tiffany engagement ring. They broke up before they got married. So I was a teller line manager in college. One day this 19 year old kid comes in with a check for like 350k. Obviously this is unusual, so I start to chat him up to make sure he wasn't getting scammed or something. This was when the Nigerian prince scam was just starting out. Turns out his dad had died and this was the life insurance check he got. So I'm like well it sucks that your dad died, but at least he thought ahead. To take care of you, let me set you up with one of our advisors, and if you play your cards right you'll be retired comfortably by 40. Nope. He says I'm buying all my friend's cars. And he did. The worst part is he didn't even buy them good cars. He was buying okay used cars, like a 7 year old Civic. He came in every couple days for like 3 months to get a couple cashier's checks for like 6500 to buy each of his friends several cars. By the end of the 3 months the money was gone. That was about 15 years ago so using quick math, rule of 7s, he'd have about $1.5 million at this point. I wonder if he will ever think back and realize that he ducked up bad. I know of at least one guy who lost it all at the casino. Was standing there with my gf and this dude had monster stacks of chips at the roulette wheel 100k to 500k worth. Easy. 5 minutes after I took a piss, when I came out of the can, the guy was holding no chips. I sure not. My gf said he lost everything in one spin and we watched him cry his eyes out. It was sad. I watched a sorority sister sink thousands of dollars into an MLM when that one flopped and left her with like 5,000 unsold leggings. She took out a loan to invest in yet another MLM to recoup her costs from the first one. So I guess that counts as two extremely poor decisions. A friend of mine who is very bad with money and his girlfriend bought some sort of water filtration system from a door-to-door -door salesman. He has to pay something like 300 a month for this filtration system. He was all stoked because it came with a free set of pots and pans. 
Fast forward a year and his girlfriend has broken up with him, moved out of the house, and he's had to sell his home because he can't afford to live there. The water filtration system is now sitting in a storage unit where he still pays 300 a month for it because he's on a 2 or 3 year contract. Sorry the details are fussy. We have great water quality in my area. Spend all of 401k on a glass bottom boat business with a criminal business partner and a 25 year old boat. I hope it makes a great movie someday. One of my friends got a loan for tuition in college. Paid for his classes and had about $300 left over. So he goes to the mall and buys a samurai sword from one of those knife shops. Then he buys a box of hugs, these little juices for kids that come in small barrel shaped plastic bottles. He proceeds to throw the hugs into the air and cut them in half with a sword in a Croja parking lot at 11pm. Note, he was unemployed at the time and spent about $260 of the $300 on this parking lot slaughter fest. My cousin got a reasonably sized inheritance and used it to buy a house in a city where he doesn't live, where he didn't move to, and where he's been unable to find a tenant to rent it. For years, and the house is still vacant, losing value and giving him nothing back. Edit, you guys got me to check. Apparently housing price is reasonably stable in Mexico. Still, he has to pay taxes and maintenance, and gets nothing in return. Friend was told by his dad to always replace his used car every 3 years, even if it is still working just fine. Why? Now, because of constant trade-ins that are less than the value of the original loans and new used cars, new loans stacking up, and poor credit, my friend currently owes $35,000 and drives a 2009 Toyota that needs a lot of repairs. His first car was a perfectly fine Honda in perfect condition that, I believe, he could have paid off easily and would still be driving today. This friend also put his dad's name on his saving account with a full awareness that his dad is not trustworthy and now that account has been emptied and given to his dad's mistress. Not nearly as bad as some of these, but one of my college roommates would constantly come home with toys. Like, toy dinosaurs and cap guns and various children's toys. For himself. Then play with them twice and forget about them. And then had to borrow money to pay our bills. Great guy and he's since gotten better but damn that was baffling at the time. We need to get him and samurai sword guy together. This guy I knew went from being on mom and dad's bill to his own because he ducked up in school. So instead of getting a cheap apartment close to campus, he picks one of the most expensive apartments in town, where no utility is included, got the cable slash internet add-on, got the several hundred dollar parking pass, and continued to eat out and drink on a regular basis. You will be as shocked as I was to learn that that didn't work out, and he had to move back in with his parents. I knew a guy who took out a $5,000 loan and bought clothes and other useless merch. He then proceeded to take out another loan for similar reasons. When asked why, he said he thought it was free money. Edit, to clarify, we were in the Navy with steady pay and good job security. Navy Federal probably didn't question much. Know a dude who recently found out his girlfriend is pregnant. He is in school, and for one reason or another she can't work, so they are living off of school money. He decides to make ends meet, he is going to start selling weed. Pot dealers as a profession in our state have been dead for almost 5 years. And the dude is trying to sell it at pre-legalization prices. After a divorce, she used the split equity from the sale of their former marital home to buy a Cadillac Escalade. Then ended up in government apartment complex on benefits and losing the SUV because she couldn't afford to insure or gas it. Girl, you cold had 50k plus in the bank to survive until you got on your feet. You set yourself back 5 years and may never recover. He's doing great though. My ex-friend had over $5,000 in CS, Geo skins, cool little weapon finishes you can trade or buy online. A couple months after I knew him, he got banned for cheating. When you get banned for cheating in a game, your inventory of items for that game becomes locked. Meaning his $5,000 he cold traded away or sold for real life money became $0 instantly. So this is small potatoes, but it was so consistently bottom of the barrel poor financial choices it's stuck in my memory. 
It wasn't buying a house or anything, but even buying a sandwich she'd duck it up somehow. Worked with a woman, mid-30s with three, four kids. Not to judge, but she was 350 lbs and would non-stop complain they didn't have enough food to eat, wouldn't budget for groceries, and then would drop $25 at a gas station for one meal's worth of garbage. Her husband was getting fast food lunches every day while they couldn't afford food for the kids, so we just feed them popsicles. I grew up poor but fed, it's not happy food, but a carton of eggs and bag of rice cost as much as popsicles and will feed them a few days. Solid chance she was just full of shun that, at least I hope so honestly. She saw a show she thought her husband might like so she went and bought all the season's box sets that day. She subscribed to every entertainment magazine I've heard of. Expensive phones and phone plans. Full cable package. Apartment was more than they could afford by a long shot. One month they were super behind, so they borrowed money from his parents, her parents and a coworker. I don't remember the numbers, but to get the idea, let's say she needed $1,000 for back bills, $1,000 for that month's bills, and borrowed $3,000. Sweet, she can get caught up and give back $1,000 she overborrowed. Nope, she called the companies and plead hardship, not using the money borrowed to pay anything, falling further behind on payments. Went on a spending spree with the extra money and bought more garbage. At the end of the month they are 5k deeper in the hole, 2 months behind on payments and things start getting shut off. Also destroyed relationship with the cow walker, but like my mama always said, never lend money you can't kiss goodbye. I watch a friend of mine give his wife of one year, they had know each other for all of about a year and a half at this point, power of attorney right before deployment. By the time he got 8 months later, she was 6 months pregnant and had maximumed out 3 credit cards in his name and had the divorce paperwork ready. My roommate is renting a PS4 from a rent to own shop. He's paying $80 a month and he's had it for about half a year. He's put, loosely, about $450 into it. Well he's selling some of his video games and was deciding whether to keep it or return it. I asked him how much is left to pay to determine if it's worth keeping. He still owes $450 on it. He still, after paying nearly $500 for it owes more than a PlayStation costs to buy in the first place. A PS4 is like $300 new. And the one he's renting is used. I work with a guy who just seems to go out of his way to try and set his paychecks on fire. At first I felt bad, but now. He apparently bought a motorcycle on credit, crashed it, fixed it on credit. New to the job, he recently bought a house. A house that is quite far from work and needs a tremendous amount of repairs. Roof pieces are coming off, complains this wasn't noted in the inspection, but the roof is visibly in need of replacement from the pictures he showed me. Other day he mentioned something about his car, which he bought used to save some money with 200,000 miles on it. Goes on to talk about maintenance costs, then pivots to how he's trying to take off for a vacation. Yeah. So. I don't know what he wants me to say to him. I just don't know. You have been visited by Cozy Sleep Bulb. Cozy and Restful Sleep will come your way, only if you comment. Sleep tight, Cozy Bulb. Ignore and the Cozy Bulb will wake up.